Hey Aries, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all Aries, okay? So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as an Aries, then this reading is for you, all right? Aries, let us go ahead and get into this reading, my loves. Let us see what the messages are that come through for you all on today. This is going to be about a person that is trying to be a love and Interest or someone who actually is in your life in a romantic way okay so let us see what's going on here what can spirit tell us about this individual what do you need to know <clears throat> slave okay a slave is the the first card that came out okay um along with shapeshifter so i feel this energy here where <sighs> trying not to jump the gun and speak too soon you all but the way that it feels okay and then samaritan is like someone knows how to do something like you're attracted to this person because of what they're able to do what they know how to do things like that if you don't know what a shapeshifter is it's literally someone who can um change situations into what they want them to be you get what i'm saying they can um also possibly uh change or shift objects okay make themselves you know put their their energy into objects okay different things like that um so yeah the way that it's feeling is like this is someone who has a lot of power especially with king as the underlying energy this person has a lot of power um and i feel like they abuse it you know like they don't use it to the best of their abilities or they don't use it to help others or you get what i'm saying especially with samaritan being in the shadow atro atrospect okay like we're seeing all of the shadow aspects of that side of you know a samaritan um <clears throat> This is possibly someone who's in the position to help others but chooses not to, okay, or something like that. Versus if we were to be looking at the light side of a Samaritan, that's someone who uh, helps people even when they possibly don't want to or don't feel like it, right? But in the shadow aspect of things, this is someone who's in the position to help people and chooses not to. They would rather have them, you know... Um, work for them or work for it or something like that okay <clears throat> let us see here what energy is coming up off this person the sixth chakra okay third eye very intuitive individual um and I feel like, like I said, this person, they're they're able to do certain things. This is what attracts you to them, okay? But just know that this person does abuse their power, okay? They're not someone that you look at and like, oh, they know how to do all of that. And they're so sweet. They're so kind. They're not really sweet and kind, okay? Um, <laughs> if this person is in a leadership position or they rule anything, they rule with the iron fist, okay? We have the seventh chakra, which is the crown chakra. I also feel like this person is really good at... Um, just simply put making people do what they want them to do okay that's the energy that's here they're really good at making people do what they want them to do something about mind control okay um and then we have healer of the ages so it's like this person whoever they are they're definitely in a leadership position people look up to them okay um I just heard people obey them. So, like like I said, it's literally like this person is creating rules. You know, they're like shifting people's reality or they're able to shift people's mindset somehow, okay? Um, something about mind control here. This person abusing the power that they have or something like that. Very, very intellectual person. Very smart. Um, and then to top that off, you know, not only are they smart, but they also have that um, intuition, you know, uh, being super strong and super sharp coming through in their reading it's like they take advantage of these things okay so let us see what's going on here let us see let us see let us see okay now even in the event that this person has romantic feelings for you or whatever the case may be um the energy that is making me feel is like you finding out certain things about this person's true colors or their true identity is going to like turn you completely off okay <clears throat> That's the way that it's presenting itself. It's not attractive. You're not going to think so. Anyway, you get what I'm saying? 
Um, yeah, we have attraction here in the reverse position. Like I said, it's not attractive. You don't find it attractive, okay? Somebody who um, takes advantage of others or abuses them mentally or, you know what I mean? Like, if they know that people look up to them, honor them, respect them, they take advantage of that instead of feeling honored, being humble. You know what I mean? Um, if you have somebody's life in your hands what do you do with it this person they crumble it you know what i mean that type of shit so we have you deserve love in the reverse position you are lovable um don't allow this situation to make you start doubting yourself or doubting the fact that you're going to find love or whatever the case may be if this person has said that to you possibly like oh nobody's going to love you or good luck finding what you want or something along those lines okay right here we have pay attention to the red flags also showing up in the reverse position okay and i can promise you all i cleanse this deck so for all of these cards to be showing up in reverse that's saying something okay they were all upright um but yeah let's go ahead and get into this but pay attention to the red flags coming out in the reverse position i feel like some of you um are beating yourselves up because you may feel like there's things you didn't pay attention to that you should have or things that you noticed that you overlooked okay something along those lines something along those lines let us see those what's going on Maybe um, some of you deal with this person because you really don't think you're lovable as well. Something else that just came to me. But you are, okay? You genuinely, truly are. All right? It says, I am not available. So I feel this energy where the person is not even emotionally available, <laughs> okay? Um, they're around because you allow them to be around. I feel like you put them in the position of being a king. You put them in a position of having authority or power or control in your life in some way. But it's like this person does not deserve it. They haven't earned it. Okay. It says, I hid who I really am from you. Yeah. Because if you would have knew this is who I am, why would you deal with me? Why would you be involved with someone like me when you are the way that you are? When you're so loving and you're so honorable. Why would you be with someone like me? That you know... So let us see what we have here. Okay, I want to feel that way again. I want to feel that way again. I want to feel what way again? You want to feel in control? You want to feel what? Okay, I feel this energy where um, something could have happened. Yeah. I am becoming a better person as the underlying energy. Something could have happened with this person in the past, okay, that really contributed to them being the way that they are right now. Um, and I feel like they like being around you not only because... The power or the control that they feel like they have in the situation with the way that you feel about them but because you are such a good person a kind spirited person it makes them you know remember when they were good or it makes them want to be good it makes them want to change their ways but the want or the desire to do something is no matter if a person is still going to be doing the same things they were doing in the first place you get what i'm saying like you want to change but you have that that willpower you have that free will you have that choice so what option or choice is this person going to make you know are they going to continue to be this person that they've been which is just not cool <laughs> okay or are they going to try to be better you know type of thing so let us see what's going on here you all let us see let's get to the nitsy gritty okay so we have the nine of wands okay so definitely been a struggle dealing with this person okay it has not been easy by any means i feel like sometimes you really do want to just give up yeah, we have the Ten of Swords here coming out in the challenge position. I feel like multiple times this person has betrayed you. Multiple times this person has lied. Multiple times. You get what I'm saying? But there's this energy here where it's like you keep forgiving them or you keep taking them back. You get what I'm saying? Um, you keep allowing them to... Like I said, have power, have control in your life in some way with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Even though it's dysfunctional, even though, you know, the situation lacks harmony... Um, you still allow this person to be a part of your life to exist in your reality. Okay, the star card is in reverse. I honestly feel this situation coming to a head. Okay, definitely with the eight of swords in reverse. I feel like you know you're no longer going to be in your mind about why the situation isn't working out. What's wrong with you? Because I feel like I said this person they have some sort of mind control, some sort of mind control, mind power, something like that. Okay, this person really tries to um, project you know the way that they feel about themselves onto you to make you feel like that about yourself you get what i'm saying 
Um, this person really likes to create a false reality in their own mind and then try to get you or whoever they're dealing with to believe them. You get what I'm saying? I feel like now with the Eight of Swords in reverse, you're in this energy where you're seeing beyond that. Okay, you're seeing what needs to be seen here about this person. With the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like you're no longer going to be investing your time, investing your energy into this person. Okay, or whatever form of work you were putting in, you're not going to do it because you feel like, like I said, with this person not being emotionally available, they're going to keep betraying you. They're going to keep lying and, and cheating and whatever it is that they're doing. Um, why even... You get what I'm saying? Also, something about uh, porn addiction. Okay, this person may be addicted to porn. Um, <clears throat> they may possibly have a sex addiction as well. Okay, I feel like this is something that they are afraid to admit to you, but you might know about. Okay, something along those lines here. Okay, yeah, and we have the devil energy. So, definitely some sort of addiction that this person is dealing with okay some sort of addiction that they're dealing with uh porn addiction they might also like strippers prostitutes okay um yeah they got a lot going on a lot that they need to deal with a lot that they need to heal um and prior to them being in any sort of relationship with the two of wands in reverse excuse me two of pentacles in reverse and the four of wands in the upright position they're forever going to be like unstable until they get that resolved until they deal with that issue because they're always going to be cheating always going to be creeping always like that's just what it is okay the two of wands in reverse yeah it's like when the two of wands is upright there's a decision to make there's okay what course of action are we going to take with the two of wands in reverse the course of action has already been taken we already know what it is it is what it is and that's it and so what it is is this person has an addiction and until they resolve that or deal with that and really be honest with themselves about it they're going to continue to treat you or whoever else they deal with in this way like this okay so I mean, they'll be around. It's like, if you're going to let them be around, oh, they're going to be around. You get what I'm saying? Um, but as far as you getting what you may want, which is the four of wands energy, the commitment, the stable relationship and partnership, you're not going to get that with them. Okay. Um, they can definitely play that role. You get what I'm saying? But as far as actually being that person, no. Okay. And I feel like some of you, you know, you know, this is a soulmate of yours. So you hold on. You get what I'm saying? You're like, oh, well, that's a soulmate, you know, of mine. Well, we have multiple soulmates, right? So you have love coming your way that doesn't have anything to do with the situation. Okay. Similar to what I told someone else. I think it was Libra. Okay. Um, some of you may have Libra placements. But, yeah, just like I told Libra, okay, you got to remove the old in order for the new to come in. Whoever this person is, they're definitely a huge block for you when it comes to receiving what it is that you deserve here, okay? Um, yeah, and this person is definitely, uh, like I said, projecting a lot of different things onto you, not realizing that those are things they need to resolve within themselves, okay? So, yeah, that's what we have here for you guys. Um, if this was your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair